of things right now, and the good thing is that if there are problems, you can just talk them out and then try to resolve them. Mm-hmm. You know, if something is bothering me, I would want her to know what it is, and then mm-hmm. together we could, you know, work out a solution mm-hmm. to make things better for both of us. Yeah, and we we've talked about that ish, those issues before, and we feel uh, like we can talk amongst one another. And we have a a very open and honest relationship we have from the start. Um, Yeah, I agree with that. mm -hmm. So, um, basically, you know, like you said, if we do have a problem, you know, we are able to discuss it. It's been very rewarding and a great learning experience as well. Well, we've kind of talked to you about um, some transitions that took place in our life. Um, just to recap a little bit here and kind of wrap this up, I'd like to just say that we've discussed different aspects of young adulthood. Uh, we talked about um, some issues in relation to um, health and fitness and um, you know, what kind of condition are young adults in, typically in good con- uh, good physical condition. Um, we also touch very briefly on a little bit of adult moral development. Um, and we I had mentioned uh, Lawrence Kohlberg, um, who talked about uh, moral, uh, moral development in adulthood and um, how that uh, adulthood depends primarily on experience. Um, but as before, moral thinking can exceed the limitations set, set by cognitive development. Uh, we also t- talked uh, about our college experiences and um, the transition uh, into college and after college. Um, we also addressed issues related to uh, starting a career. And we briefly talked about um, adulthood and uh, we talked about uh, Erickson's model, um, which is a very important model. And um, we're, we were currently in a six psychosocial crises. Um, we, were in the in- we are in the intimacy versus isolation being young adults. Um, so I just kind of wanted to tell you that Erickson is a, a very important theorist in relation to uh, personality and development in young adulthood. Um, also we talked about, we talked about, um, two important influences during young adulthood. We talked a little bit about, um, having a mentor and, um, having a dream and aspiration. Um, also we talked about some specific life events, um, what was called normative uh, versus non-normative. Um, the normative, um, were events that were expected and, the non-normative events that took place that were just unexpected. And uh, getting to the end here, uh, we had addressed some issues in regard to cohabitating, uh, that it's been part of our lives, and it's a part of many uh, people's lives um, as young adults. Um, We also talked about, um, you know, both the positives with cohabitating and also um, maybe some drawbacks, but we overall find um, that it's been a positive experience. Well, most young adults, they make basic decisions